Hey, what's up everybody? How are you guys doing today? Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you are new here, my name is Tobias and welcome to Microphone Mondays where I upload new microphone reviews and comparison videos every Monday. And today, as you can see here, I have two microphones in front of me. Here on my left, your right, I have the Mono AU PM 500T. This is a brand new microphone that Mono released. I just posted my initial review of this microphone a couple weeks ago and then over here on my right and your left I have the Mono AUPM 320S and the audio that you are hearing right now is coming from the 320S and throughout this video I'm going to be switching between these two microphones if you ever want to know which microphone you are listening to at any given time I'm gonna go ahead and put the microphone right here in the corner of the screen and these two microphones are both XLR condenser microphones meaning you will need an audio interface with phantom power to use them. The audio interface that I'm using is the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. I'll go ahead and put a link to this audio interface down in the description below. It's going for $170 right now, but you do not need this specific audio interface. You can use any audio interface as long as it does supply phantom power because these microphones will require a power source. So I'm going to be breaking this video up into three sections. First, I'm going to tell you guys about the similarities and differences between these two microphones. And then I'm going to do several different audio tests where I will switch between one microphone and the other pretty quickly so that we can get a sense for which microphone we prefer the sound of. And then in the end, I'll give you guys my final thoughts and I'll tell you guys which microphone I think that you would probably be better off going with. And I'll go ahead and put the timestamps to these different sections down in the comments below in case you would like to skip around in this video. And if at any point, if you do like this video or if this video helps you out, I would really appreciate it. If you went down there and gave this video a like, that would help me out so much. If you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. So let's go ahead and get started by taking a look at the Amazon pages. As you can see here, the PM500T goes for $149.99, comes with free shipping. And if we look at the PM320S, we'll see that it goes for $74.99, also comes with free shipping. So we're looking at a price difference of $75, meaning that the PM500T is literally double the price of the 320s now as for what you get with the two microphones both microphones come with a pop filter they both come with an xlr cable and they both come with a shock mount when it comes to the stands that the microphones come on as you can see here the pm320s comes on a boom arm stand and the pm500t comes on this like weighted table stand and this table stand is height adjustable, which is pretty cool. And of course, with the boom arm stand, you have the freedom to move that around quite a bit. The PM320S also comes with a wind muff, while the PM500T does not come with a wind muff. As for the actual microphones themselves, like I said earlier, they are both XLR condenser microphones. However, the PM500T is a large diaphragm condenser microphone with a 34 millimeter diaphragm. The PM320S only has a 16 millimeter diaphragm. And a lot of the time, but not 100% of the time, people like to use large diaphragm condenser microphones for recording vocals a lot of the time because they typically have a lower noise floor, meaning they produce less self noise. As for the frequency responses of these two microphones, it looks like the PM320S has a pretty even frequency response. However, it tends to taper off a bit in the highs. The PM500T also kind of tapers off in the highs, but it also tapers off quite a bit in the lows as well. And both of these microphones record in a cardioid pickup pattern. So that's just about all the similarities and differences between these two microphones. Let's go ahead and jump into our side-by-side -side audio tests. I'm going to switch between one mic microphone and the other pretty quickly try to listen to see if there is one microphone that you prefer the sound of over the other okay guys so the audio that you are hearing right now is coming from the pm320s and the first thing i want to do is take a listen to the noise floor so i'm going to stop talking for a few seconds try to listen to see if you can hear an underlying hiss noise And right now I'm tapping on my computer's keyboard directly behind the 320S. 
And right now I'm tapping on my computer's keyboard directly behind the PM500T. And right now I'm tapping on my desk around the PM320S. Right now I'm tapping on my desk around the PM500T. And right now I'm standing roughly five feet away from the Mono AU PM320S. And right now I'm standing roughly five feet away from the Mono AU PM500T. <laughs> And let's go ahead and get a final listen into the Mono AU PM320S. And now let's go ahead and get our final listen into the PM500T. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back and listen to all the audio that I just recorded. And then I'll come back and I'll tell you guys what I think. And I'll tell you guys which microphone I think that you would be better off going with. Okay guys, so the audio that you are hearing right now is coming from the Mono AU PM320S. And my decision between these two microphones was actually kind of difficult. I haven't had such a difficult comparison in a while. I mean, the two microphones definitely sound different. I was just trying to figure out whether it's worth paying double the price for the PM500T. And I'm just gonna tell you guys what I would do in this situation. If I did not own any microphones and I was in the market to buy my first XLR condenser microphone, I think what I would honestly do is I would save the extra $75 and I would go with the PM. 320s and i know that might be like a surprising answer for you guys but this is the logic behind that reasoning i guess if i was looking for a microphone in the 150 dollar and under price range i think that my goal would to be to find something that sounded decent and save as much money as i possibly could and then after i bought this microphone for 75 dollars I would use that microphone and I would use it as long as I needed to until I could save up $300. And then once I had that $300, I would buy a microphone that costed about $300, like my Audio-Technica AT4040, which is like my go-to microphone. This microphone was about $300. I think it might have been exactly $300. And yes, when it does come down to it, guys, in some ways, the Mono AU PM500T did sound better than the PM320S. In my opinion, the biggest difference is that the PM500T had a much lower noise floor than the 320S. But having said that, I feel like the noise floor of the 320S wasn't terrible. One thing that I didn't like about the PM500T is that I kind of had to angle the microphone in a way so that I wasn't speaking directly into the capsule, and I kind of had to play around with the mic placement so that I wouldn't get as much sibilance. Because for some reason I feel like I kind of got a lot of sibilance with the PM500T. And sibilance is those sounds like the SH sounds or the CH sounds or the S or the CH. When it came to recording guitar, I feel like the PM320S actually sounded better. Even although in the instructions for the PM500T, it showed that the frequency response tapered off quite a bit in the lows, I actually feel like it did pick up quite a bit of the lows, and the guitar actually even sounded a bit muddy in that recording, which makes me think that the PM500T was picking up a lot of those lower mid frequencies. I feel like the guitar sounded much cleaner when I recorded it with the PM320S. And by the way, when I am recording guitar, I usually try to point the microphone directly at the 12th fret just so that I know that the microphone positioning is pretty consistent. So yeah, guys, there were some things that I preferred about the PM500T, and there were some things that I preferred about the PM320S. But when it comes down to it, is it worth paying the extra $75 for the PM500T? In my opinion, I don't know, maybe not.
Like I said, if it were me, I would probably use this microphone as long as I could and eventually try to save up for a more expensive microphone. So anyways guys, that's what I would probably do knowing that I can get this microphone for half the price of this microphone. I would probably go with the PM320S, but I mean, it it was such a close call. It was really hard for me to come up with that idea, but I would love to know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comments below. Once again, I will have the Amazon pages for both of these microphones linked down in the description below in case you'd like to check those out for yourself. And if you did like this video or if it helped you out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like, that would help me out so much. If you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also that bell notifications button. I upload new microphone reviews and comparisons every Monday. I call it Microphone Mondays. That's a quick little way to remember it by. And on Wednesdays and Fridays, I upload different kinds of content to my channel. So I strongly encourage you to check out my channel. If you like what you see there, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.